I'm the purple praying mantis, uh, PPM. I'm the purple praying mantis, uh, PPM. I'm the purple praying. What's good with y'all boys, man? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Jay Aries, man. And today, I'm not gonna be editing a lot. I just really wanted to talk to y'all, bro. I wanted to talk to y'all about a man who was one of the most the one of the most hated, one of the most loved, a very polarizing superstar. The Miz. Now, how do I feel about The Miz? I love The Miz. I used to not fuck with The Miz. I used to not like The Miz. I used to think The Miz was annoying. That was when I was younger. I grew up, started learning a little bit more about the business, and then I started to love him when I realized how much I hated him, if that made sense. Now, for me, The Miz is a very special individual. A lot of people say he's bad at wrestling. He can't do this, he can't do that. Okay, it's fair that The Miz might not put on some of the best matches in the world. He has arguably the worst WrestleMania main event ever. But I genuinely love The Miz. And I think The Miz has grown to be underrated. I feel like people are starting to underrate longevity, especially longevity in the top promotion in the world. Now, would Miz per, per se last in a G1 or some shit like that? You know what I'm saying? Probably not. However, I don't think it's fair to say that not only is The Miz bad at wrestling, but to say that he's just like treat people like to treat The Miz like he's complete garbage. People like to talk about The Miz like he not anything special. I honestly do think The Miz is special. I think he has some of the best mic work ever. He's a part of some very intriguing storylines and he's managed to stay relevant. Now, when I say stay relevant, I feel like that's very important because people, like I said earlier, how people underrate longevity, I feel like people underrate relevancy. The Miz is one of those wrestlers who always is going to garner a reaction from the crowd, and he can always get the crowd invested in whatever he's doing. People even cared when he was going up, when he had a little mini feud with Dexter Loomis last year, bro. People care about The Miz. People like The Miz. Now, my how I feel about The Miz is, you know, it hurts to hear, but The Miz is going to be remembered way more than a lot of these, a lot of these indie guys. I'm not going to front, bro. Like, I understand it's okay to crown on The Miz, but I'm not even going to talk about money. I'm not going to talk about his wife because that's too easy. I'm not going to talk about none of that shit. What I will say is The Miz is going to live in history and live long and the Miz is going to be remembered in infamy forever based on who he was as a wrestler. I'm not going to say his impact on the business, but just based on who but based on who he was as a wrestler for real. Like I said earlier, Miz not no tremendous ass wrestler. He can go out there and give you a good match, probably a four star or some shit. not on any given night. I think that MJ, I mean, not, I think Miz versus LA Knight was a four star, but obviously, you know, to each their own. I thought that was a really good match. I knew it wasn't going to be a in ring classic. It was a great clash of personalities, and it was a great match. You know what I'm saying? Seeing that special girl, it was a great match. All things included. Now, like I was saying, the Miz is going to be remembered a lot more than these indie marks, bro. I'm telling you. I hate to be that guy, but. Being a draw is important. Like, when he faced off against Gunther, that was the highest drawing part of Raw. Like, making money is important. I understand, you know, to the viewer, is people would say, why the fuck do I, as the viewer, care about ratings? Well, you don't have to care about ratings. But ra what ratings do show is what people give a fuck about versus what people don't give a fuck about. And the fact that Miz is constantly... Getting a lot of views says a lot. The Miz is an important figure in the wrestling community. The Miz is relevant. Not a lot of wrestlers can say that. There are wrestlers that can have 10 five-star matches and they won't be as talked about as The Miz, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Mike Bailey, for example. Mike Bailey of Impact Wrestling. Phenomenal wrestler. Has put on great matches all year. More wrestling fans know The Miz. And that's no disrespect. You know, I'm just saying, Miz been in this for a minute, but, you know, 
call it for what it is, more people will know about The Miz. And I'm sorry to say that, but it's the reality. I know reality hurts, but like I said, man, I love The Miz. I don't, I don't I know how a lot of other people feel about The Miz, but to me The Miz is special. He was one of the first wrestlers that I truly hated. Like I genuinely did not fuck with The Miz. Wanted this nigga off my screen. Thought he was a bitch. All that, all that, bro. And I really started fucking with The Miz. Really started loving. I really started like paying attention to The Miz and how much he annoyed me. And yeah, not only that, but Miz could Miz can go. I think I feel like this face turn. I feel like this is about to be the start of workhorse Miz. I think he can go on his 2015 Cena run, bro. Not saying he needs to beat, beat Gunther, but I believe it, bro. Now, would I be mad if he beat Gunther? I don't know. I don't think I would be that. I don't know, bro. Because, like, there are so many other viable candidates, but I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know. Should The Miz get number nine? I'm not against that. Nor am I for it, though. I would like the I would like the Miz to get number nine, but I'm not like clamoring for it. Gunder's on an amazing run, and to have the Miz end it is a little crazy. But hey, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all drop a like, man. I just wanted to drop a quick little video for y'all. I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about the Miz, man. Uh, I hope y'all stay blessed. Drop comments on whoever else you want me to talk about, bro. I'm not going to make no promises about uploading. I know y'all tired of hearing that shit. All I'm going to say is upload when I can, bro. Love y'all boys. Appreciate y'all. I got some shit cooking. I got a TNA video cooking. I got a, w I got a 2K14 video cooking. The best wrestling. I ain't even about to get started, man. Y'all boys stay blessed. Have a blessed day. Fuck T.O.